All right, we're here at the U.S. Masters Chess Tournament in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Sheree is an international arbiter, A-level. Let's talk a little bit about what she does or experiences and perhaps a little bit, she can elaborate a little bit about what she's doing here at this event. Go ahead. Uh, well, I started play, uh, chess with playing, but now, as you know, I'm arbiter. Uh, I think arbiting is very important for me because I love this job and I work in many different tournaments, different types, uh, juniors, seniors, cadets, uh, top level tournaments, uh, world champions even. So uh, I really enjoy arbiting and I think that's my destiny. <laughs> Well, good for you. Yeah, that takes a tremendous amount of skill, in my opinion, especially to get to that level. The rules, comparing not only FIDE rules, but then, of course, this United States Chess Federation, you have to stay on your toes. And the way I've always seen it, the rooms just seem to be getting more complex. What do you think about that? I think that uh, U.S. rules are kind of better than FIDE rules uh, because this is more based on common sense. And I think that FIDE rules need much more improvement. Uh, so I'm really proud of learning about U.S. rules as well. And uh, this is something that uh, helps me in my career. Yes. Yeah. And I know uh, with all, all the things going on with security, I'm sure they're going to be introducing even other kind of rules, perhaps in the future, just to make sure that the players are comfortable with what's going on. Um, talk about what you've seen at this event at the uh, U.S. Masters. This is 2022 U.S. Masters. You see anything particular or any kind of challenges, perhaps, for the TDs? I really like this tournament because I think the level of organization is very high. So I should congratulate to Peter and Grant for having such a great tournament. Uh, I've been in many tournaments around the world and I think this is one of the best tournaments that I've ever visited. Also, the quality of the arbiters is very high. I was amazed, especially in the previous tournament that I was working here, uh, that all arbiters knew how to work with DGT Love Chess, uh, which is very rare, you know, among arbiters or very limited arbiters who have these skills. But here I see that many people know how to do that. Yes, I agree. And I'm sure Peter and the other sponsors will, will really be certainly thankful for all of those uh, remarks because especially when it comes to clocks and this and that, all the TDs have to be on the ball. And uh, I agree that the expertise has been exceptional. Uh, any more or less final thoughts, any other comments you want to add? I think that for, our, I'll just make a comment about arbiting. I think this is very important for arbiters to use uh, the technologies. This is something that helps us to do our job much better. I know that m most of them are not mandatory in the rules, but if we want to be good arbiters, we need to improve our skills and uh, these technologies helps us to do our job better. Yes, I agree. Well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to talk to us, and I want to wish you all the best with your arbiting and other activities. Thank you, and take care. Thank you very much.